That's me, at the back of the class, sitting all by my lonesome self. So shy. Jezbeer, do you know the answer? <laughs> Come on, kid. At least say something intelligent. No. <laughs> that a boy. You tell him. Well, at least I said something. Usually I was too scared to even open my mouth. No matter how tough my day was, though, Mom and Dad were always there to cheer me up. Thank you. Why so sad? School is too hard. Don't worry. You will get it. We will be okay. They'll rock. Mom always told me to keep the faith and to believe in myself. Let's work up an appetite before dinner. Then I'll help you with your homework. Okay? There is no music. Listen very carefully and you will hear it. Take it in. Do you hear it? Yes, I hear it. Looking back now, I think my parents actually lost it. My dad had an electrical engineering degree from India, but it wasn't recognized here. So this is what he did to support the family. It was all he could get as a newcomer. No matter what happened, my dad was always smiling. Have a great day, sir. Thanks. You too, Sook. Sook? Come on. My dad was cool, but not that cool. Mom had to work too, just so we can get by, but at least she had company. They certainly sacrificed a lot to make it in this country. Look how happy my mom is, though. As the year progressed, and thanks to Miss Winthrow's help, I got better and better at understanding things. So now you carry the one and add it together. 40. Good for you. Thanks for caring, Miss Winthrow. Yes, Jez Beer. 42 minus 26 is 16. And if you wanted to know, the square root of 16 is 4. Well, thank you, Jez Beer, but we won't be learning square roots for a couple more years. Smart ass. I'm all grown up now with a family of my own. You remember that employee my dad was so kind to? Well, he was the boss's son, and he eventually took over the company and gave my dad a shot at public relations. A Sikh man with a thick accent representing your million dollar company. Way to go, Dad. Come on, Suki. Come to Daddy. Thanks to my dad's job, I was able to go to college and get a degree in law. You guys hear that? People are going to start thinking we're crazy. Yeah. Right? Let them. Imagine, an immigrant family living and surviving in Canada. The only regret is having to put my parents in an old age home. Just kidding. They're at the car grabbing some more food. I wouldn't do that to the two people who sacrificed so much for me. By the way, thanks for the music. 